Game Boy Color. Get into it. Get into it. Number 10. Then should he go or a train to go is a Japanese only game where you all you do all you're required to do is to get to the train station on time um, by shifting the brakes and whatnot. It sounds totally boring, but um, it isn't. It's addictive as hell. Number nine. I quite like poker, rummy, hearts, stuff like that. Now this blows them out of the water. It's uh, the best card game I've ever played. Number eight. Ridiculously addictive. <laughs> and I like the cars. The frog <laughs> the frog that size getting run over by them little cars. Cracks me up. Number seven. To sum tennis up, it's fast, accurate, it's unrealistic, but it's fun. Uh, it's an action RPG where you can actually level up your player. Great little tennis game. Number six. This is a port of the Amiga Classic with quite a lot of added extras such as um, tons of sound samples and an impressive um, FMV intro. The only major difference and, and downfall is that you're only ever two soldiers on any mission. Number five. This is what I consider the Game Boy Color's answer to the Super Nintendo version of A Link to the Past. And it is amazing how they've pulled it off. It really is. Great game, great story, loads to do. Take you a while to get through, which is always a bonus. Number four. This is a simple enough top down racer. It's just mega, mega addictive. Well worth picking up.
Number three. It's a Mario. This is a port of the Nintendo Mario Brothers with quite a few extras such as the ability to save, some Game Boy printer options and some other stuff. A calendar I believe, yeah. Number two. This is just an update of the original Game Boy game that was given away with the system. Where it shines is the fact that it does save your high scores. Number one. The reason this is my number one is I'm just amazed how good it is. You know, they've managed to pack the Mega Drive game onto the Game Boy Color. And the background, they just look amazing. <laughs> 